This morning in Project Fitness, before and after any type Thank of physical you. activity, it's important for Can children to stretch their <laughs> muscles to help reduce the risk of injury. And here to show us some safe stretches for kids is Miss Rhode Island, Kelsey Fournier. Good morning. Good morning. So I, I know we're not kids, but uh, <laughs> it's also important for adults to stretch, but why is it really important for kids to stretch? Well, it's important for kids to stretch to avoid the risk of injury, but it needs to be done before exercise and after exercise, but only after a warm-up. So they should never be stretching cold muscles. So usually about a five minute warm up will do whatever type of exercise they like running jogging oh, so walking. just a brief kind of cardio a, yep mm -hmm. okay get them all warmed up and I know mm -hmm. it's important for mm -hmm. us as well now the first one you have is actually the butterfly stretch mm -hmm. how do we do that so this is usually children's favorite you can even make it into a game with children so okay. you just the soles of the feet come together mm -hmm. you want to try to push down the knees to the ground so pushing them down can anyone actually touch their knees to the ground? You know, I could when I was little. <laughs> I, it went away over time. <laughs> Maybe some of these kids will be able to. But if they're younger and you want to make it interesting, you can pretend like they're flying somewhere. Oh, good. And like yeah. they're a butterfly and where are they going off to today? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, definitely. That's what I used to do with my dance class. And then it helps really kind of mm -hmm. loosen it up as you're yep. going along. Mm -hmm. And then they can just push down. They can even stretch one at a time, depending yeah. on their flexibility level mm -hmm. and what they can do. And what exactly is this important for? So this is important to stretch out your hips and the groin, really warm up before doing any type of activity, especially sport related. Okay. The next one you have, speaking of sports, is mm -hmm. the runner's lunge. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the kids are running for soccer and, and running just in general. Yeah. So what is, how do they so have to do this? this one will be very familiar to some. So when you're doing a runner's lunge, the knee needs to be directly above the ankle. Okay. So that's very important. It shouldn't be over or back because that can create injury in the knees, which should be right over to really warm up your lower body before a workout. And the back leg should be straight. Mm -hmm. If this was very easy for them, they could even try to stretch an arm up. Oh, wow. Get or even if they can really get down or come down to their elbows, mm -hmm. anything to really get in that stretch. How long should they be holding these kind of stretches for? Each one should be about 20 to 30 seconds. All right, and of course you'd be doing that on both legs. Yes. And next is the uh, toe touch. Mm -hmm. How do we... So this one's usually no one's favorite. I know it's not really my favorite either. <laughs> Especially if you have long legs. Yes, so. and tight hamstrings. So you're just gonna stretch over, so your body should be up straight, come over at the hips, and you wanna try to touch your toes. Mm, good luck for that. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't reach if you can't reach your toes, even just coming as far as you can or grabbing on. And then occasionally you might want to bend the legs and then stretch again. Just to give them a little break, because this one This one's is difficult, I'm not is. gonna lie. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been able to touch my toes. And for those of you that are overzealous, you can always cross over. Get out and try to stretch that. Wow, these are you know for how much the harder that is. <laughs> <laughs> and these are really good for stretching for mm -hmm. what kind of sports? I used to do this with dance all the time, mm -hmm. especially something that requires a lot of flexibility. And the last one is arm mm -hmm. circles. Now you were telling me that kids love to do kids these. Kids love these. So you're just going to start small circles, either clockwise or counterclockwise, because you'll reverse it after. Mm -hmm. Then eventually you're going to start to get bigger. Now you want to make sure that they're not starting to go all out of control and flailing all about. Yeah. That it's controlled the whole time. This one you can also pretend like you're flying off somewhere. I remember doing this one as a kid and I pretended mm -hmm. I was a pterodactyl, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then when you're done you can always switch the other side, starting small. And this is good because what, what does it warm up? It's warming up your arms, your shoulders. Mm -hmm. And I think I used to do this a lot for volleyball as well. Well, thank you so much. I feel like we need to like shake as we're, as we're spinning. Thank you, Kelsey, for coming in. And to get all of these great stretches for both adults and your kids, you can head to our website, WPRI.com.